nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Are you ready? <laughs> welcome back to hat. Welcome back <laughs> Did to you say hell. Uh, welcome back to hell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, welcome God. back to Brian Hardy's son has three less toes. <laughs> oh, Jesus. No, well, I did not do pizza cutter news for Brian Hardy's son. Oh. Uh, uh, and well, just real quick. Uh, Brian Hardy's son was mowing the grass the other day and uh, ran over his foot. Oh, the ran over his oh, foot, did not lose any digits, right? He's still got all of his toes, so he's able to continue his 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 uh, third uh, third grade math class. <laughs> I think he's in high school, but whatever. <laughs> uh, but he's OK. He just uh, scared the shit out of Brian. Uh, I get felt better, bad kid. For... Get better, kid. Yeah, get better. Owen, Owen yeah. money. You know what you're going to be, Owen? Insurance. That's what yeah. you're gonna be great you deductible. Owen deductible is what you're gonna be calling you. Are we saying he mowed the grass the hard way? The hard way. Ah that, well that was funny because that's what I that's what I messaged um uh, um Brian. I said, Hey, listen, this is your fault. If you'd have taught him how to gig the correct way, <laughs> <laughs> we wouldn't he, he wouldn't be bleeding all over your sweatshirt. So uh, Owen's good. He's just in a boot and wrapped up. And he's, I think he had a doctor's appointment today and I haven't heard anything from Brian yet about it. Um, uh, so we'll get, we'll get an update for everybody. Uh, but let's move on to wrestling news. Welcome back boys. Uh, we just did our, we just did our fast lane uh, review. Uh, you'll be able to check that out. That's going to go up here shortly. A um, lot of good insight from Scotty for once. Uh, he usually doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. This time he did. Yeah. <laughs> right? this time when are you going to remember? I am always right. I, Scotty I, always knows. Scotty always knows. Scotty <laughs> always knows. <laughs> Scotty's right when he's right. Scotty's right. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, boy. Put that spoon in your hand and do that. He's going <laughs> to knock his phone over and everything he might well, <laughs> that chair will probably break he'll oh, be on the floor of that table or get kicked up we'll think we we're in a damn tornado or you something you weren't uh you weren't on the episode where uh right before we started i uh, don't know were we all <laughs> wrote a boat kid wrote a boat uh i don't know if the episode had already started uh but wyatt and scotty were sitting on a chair and all of a sudden it went yeah <laughs> That was before I joined. Yeah, that, yeah, was, that was the first um, two episodes of Hard Way. Go back was, and look it up, folks. I should be able to. Uh, I'll be able to clip that. Yeah, you're, you're... <laughs> oh, oh man! Let me get an up, up, update on Owen. Deposit. The third, the third generation sensation. Yeah, the <laughs> third generation. Not very good at mowing. He's better at wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> He's better resting. All right, let's get into it. A uh AEW new tag champs. Now, when we first saw this, we thought for sure what? What do we think, Ricky? Uh when I first saw it, I forgot that Dynamite was even on or Collision was even on at that point. And then I realized they, they aired earlier and were up against uh WWE Fast Lane, and there was probably not gonna be anybody in that damn crowd. But uh when I saw the and new tag champs thing come up and i was like holy crap what the hell's going on with ftr yeah exactly i didn't watch any of the match i haven't seen it either but i honestly because here here's the thing wrestle dream young bucks win a tag team title opportunity at any point we like like all of us were thinking are they going to do uh bucks ftr four out of this and then all of a sudden, Ricky messages us on, on the group chat saying, new tag team titles, Ricky Starks and Big Bill. And I'm like, the fuck? Like, are they, like, I, okay, I, I, let, let me give a slight hot take on this here. All right? I love FTR. Always have, always will. What's I'm FTR stand for, Scotty? 
fuck the revival. Um, which again, that's their old gimmick, and I get it. And that was something that the Bucks, I think, had put up on FT. They put FTR on their one of their Twitter posts or something. But anyways, um, not a big fan of the Young Bucks. But I was just like, all right, you know. And I've always kind of felt like FT, like when FTR have something good going for them, they tend to lose it quickly over there in AEW, and I don't know why they had they were starting to have a good run with the tag team titles or at least a okay run it wasn't perfect but at least they at least they had the belts and then it's gone and of course the funny thing is bucks got the tag team title shot now we've got starks and big bill is the tag team champions what do you want to bet the belts are going back on the Young Bucks? That's what I you think. think they're traditional or uh, transitional champions? I think they are transitional um, champions. I think the Young Bucks are going to take the... Because they're ROH six-man champions with Paige, right? Yes. Yeah. So then they're going to have that belt. They're going to try... They're going to be the belt collectors at this point. They're going to have the regular tag team titles and the six-man ROH six titles here pretty quick. I think they're just, you know... Starks and Big Bill are just boom, dropping them pretty quick. So. I did see, I did catch uh, their interview after they won the the tag titles. That uh, Stark said FTR is not getting a rematch. They are going to the back of the line. Mm. Uh. Well, we'll see. We'll see about that. Uh, I think this gives. I I like I like Big Bill and Ricky Starks together. Um, but why not? I don't like it. I don't like it. You don't like it? Yeah. No, D- Jason doesn't like it. <laughs> I, I think they're odd looking. I, I first off, well, that's because uh, one's like seven feet tall and the other one's like well, that's everybody five something. With gas, right? That's everybody yeah. with a big bill. Uh, I, I don't like that their gear doesn't match. That's the worst thing you can have as a oh, tag team. Jesus. I don't like tag teams that don't have tag team names. Uh, now I'm 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 sounding old here, but I don't like tag. I, uh, Tim and Don. Oh, the tag change that makes zero sense at all, right? Give give these guys uh, Chuck and Billy. Big big <laughs> Bill, big what? what? Billy and Chuck. Yeah, Billy and Chuck. I mean, give me a give me a fucking break here. They don't have matching gear. They get one guy's rolling around in stretch jeans and and uh and and Timberlands. Okay, Re- then hold on to that point though. I would never me- say that to Big Bill's face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't be saying button. it to his belly or, button, yeah. Or his belly button. <laughs> Jason, let, let me pose you a quick question. Let's go back really quick to the fast lane review. J- uh, Cody and Jay Uso just won the tag team titles. Yeah, they didn't have matching gear. They're a made up. They're they're kind of a makeup. They kind of look a little. I did not I, say I like that either. I think that's stupid too, and I don't understand why they did it. And until they explained it to me, I don't like them either. Until <laughs> I get dark hair, Cody. <laughs> it's got to be dark hair cody with with blue uh tips to match jay's yes thank you <laughs> and, and and a very dark spray tan for cody and he's got to get the bloodline tattoo and jay needs the american nightmare tattoo on his <laughs> neck <laughs> all right if we're gonna commit if we're they can't even get matching gear there's no way they're doing that but if we're gonna if we're gonna commit to that, I'll, I'm for it. I'm for it. If we're gonna commit to the tattoos on the neck, I'm I'm for it. <laughs> why it still needs to get his? Yeah, I think that's why. I think that's why he's not joining us on here. He says it's to take kids on a bus trip, but I think it's so we don't uh, rib him about getting a nightmare tattoo on his neck. <laughs> I believe it. Uh. I, I believe it. But I don't know. I mean, I I agree with you that they do look a lot a little odd together. But then again, so does Ozzy Open. Like you know, Ozzy Open. What are you? Dr- you My need, cat heard that. You need your jump. You need your glasses checked. Do they have matching do ring they gear? Work? Huh? Do your glasses work? That's the. No, they my glasses work perfect. Does Aussie Open have matching gear? Yes, they're no, they emerald. Don't. They're they're jewels. They look like the, they're they're that green color. Wait a minute, am yeah. I thinking? And then, oh no, it's not the righteous. That's who I'm thinking of. No, not they're wearing I, all the righteous are wearing all white. 
I think you're colorblind. Good lord. Give there, me- was one, there was one team not too long ago that didn't, like, that have been teaming for a while that don't have matching gear. And I'm trying to remember who I it don't was. The like Lucha Sammy. Bros? I don't, no, the Lucha Bros are supposed to be together. No, they don't have matching gear. Yeah, Penta they don't always have security black. numbers either, but we allow them together. Let them... <laughs> <laughs> That's a different. They're supposed to be. They've been together, right? These guys are Big Bill, and they're just throwing. They're wasting Ricky Starks. They're here's what they're saying to Ricky Starks. Just like they did to Jade. Eh, hey, we don't really know what to do with you, so we're gonna throw you over here. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do that. Right? None of it makes. None of it matters. Right? They're gonna end up pushing Ricky Starks to WWE too. Give fucking Ricky Starks something real, some meat. Not, I mean, I, I I know he was just in a program with with Brian. I know he was just he's been in programs with other guys. Give this guy a title run, a big title run. Don't put him in a tag team. Don't put him in a tag team unless Prince Nana is his manager. <laughs> Prince Nana is too animated for. Um... For Starks, Starks needs Starks needs the more dark and brooding manager to go with him. Like, eh. I don't know. I could see that as being a good fit. I mean, mm-hmm. add into the Mogul Embassy. <laughs> I mean, Jonathan Cross isn't available for Stark, so uh, he's suspended right now from ATCW. He is available, <laughs> uh, and he makes his debut next week at Voltage. Oh, yes, he and- does. Um, anyway, no, I just I, I like I think it's a combo. It's a good big man, little man situation. Like the the little the big man, like kind of your X Pac and Kane or uh, Wardlow MJF. You know the the big the little guy orders the big guy around until the big guy gets tired of it and beats the daylights out of the little guy. Um, but as a tag team, yeah. I, I, I don't disagree with you that it's, it doesn't fit and they, they could they should be doing a lot of different they should be doing a lot of different stuff with Ricky Starks and making it like you said make giving him a good title run that kind of thing but I, I just I'm kind of I, I just I'm interested to see where they go with this but I don't think it's going very far that's all I gotta say gotcha all right well I, I there's a picture up right now I gotta send it to you in the chat. Uh, Scotty, have you seen the picture yet? Uh, they performed in front of less people than ATCW has. Uh, there was nobody in the stands. Uh, they were all down on the floor, it looked like. Uh, and I think <laughs> there, there was a couple people, uh, cheapskates, <laughs> that were sitting up top. Uh, uh, there was, I, and I'm curious so if I can find it. I'll find out what the intent. I need to find out what the attendance is uh, to the Collision Show. But they actually won this title. Uh, in front of less people that are in catering. <laughs> <laughs> it was like the, the, the COVID shows where it was just like four wrestlers on each side of the ring. Right. Right, right. 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 Yeah. So look at the picture right now. And Oh my gosh, is that insane? Like how, how long is this? Is it, how long is this sustainable? Not that, like three months, maybe four months at most. And then like, they're gonna have to shut it down if they can't get enough people to show up. Like I don't know. I mean, what did what was the? I mean, I know they're making. They are making money hand over fist. Um, on what though? Like, what do they make? They're, they're, well, they're like, pay per, their pay per views do really well. Yeah. Okay, yeah, but their pay per views do really well. Sales are like what? What? what like, what's the maximum? 200,000 that they're you know two hundred thousand buys. Like, what are they getting for like, the pay per view? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. They were the, this. The I know the Wembley one was. A, they destroyed the. It was. It was amazing. I mean it, that. But again, that was Wembley. Like you know, they did one right after that. That was all out. That was hot garbage. Yeah. They, plus the TV deals and all that stuff. I I get it. I mean, they got money coming in, but I mean, how how do you how do you? And I don't know what what building were they in on? Do we know what building they were in here? I have no idea. With, uh, no. Yeah. Um, I, did they book a building that was too big for him? Well, and that's the thing. So, and I, I've heard a lot about, like, why are you booking NBA buildings? So, like, okay, I can understand booking an NBA building once. 
I can understand booking an NBA building if you're a, if if you're WWE who gets the repeat ticket sales. But AEW doesn't have the crowd to sustain an NBA building but once. And then after that, they need to be booking, you know, smaller shows, places that can only hold, you know, five to eight thousand people. Um, you know, where and again, the smaller arena isn't a bad thing. Uh, like um where we went to for Ring of Honor's um uh final battle, how many do you think that held? Just on that ground level, Jason. What do you think? Like ground level and, and um, ringside seats. What do you think oh, that? Was? Um, it, five to eight thousand. I, I want to say that there that that whole building probably held twenty. Really? Yeah. Even, okay, with the upper deck, which they didn't use, but yeah, I could see that. But think about it, like Ring of Honor at that time; they had. That entire, they, so they had pretty much the entire uh, first half of the bowl filled up. They had all the ringside seats filled up. And, um, you know, and it was a packed crowd. And it, I, I think it was probably about maybe eight to 9,000 there that night. Um, that would be a perfect venue for an AEW show. Have the small room, the small building, you know, have it very intimate you know, and you again, if you're not going to get crowds to fill an NBA arena, let's get, you know, let's, let's just keep it in the smaller buildings because you want the crowd to look fuller. And if you can't get the crowd to look fuller, go to the buildings where you can get the crowd to look for. I it just, what I don't I, know. Well, also these- look at, look at what AEW was going up against on a Saturday evening. You got college football, you've got MLB playoffs starting. You got WWE Fast Lane. There's those are three big things right there that kind of draw your attendance away from shows like this. But at the same time, they haven't been getting like in the uh, other than Wembley, and Wembley's kind of a freak thing because it's over in Europe, and you know, like the European crowd pops for everything. Like they they they'll show up in droves for it. Um, because they don't do it over there. I'm an idiot. It's 5,500 people. (laughs) 5,500 people for concerts. For for Chesapeake, Chesapeake center, Chesapeake arena, 5,500 people. Okay. And it wasn't sold out. They probably sold 4,000 tickets. Yeah. Okay. So about, you know, I I mean, you know, and again, it wasn't completely full, but it was still, you know, a good, like it, it felt it still felt full to us, right, Jason? Like, I mean, when we were there... I thought so. Yeah. So that's the kind of thing I'm talking about. Like, if you can't get a crowd of 15, 20,000, 30,000 people in an NBA arena, let's drop it down. Let's find the smaller intimate buildings and make it more personable. Like, let the fans... Because it felt like even uh, with Wyatt and I, where we were sitting, we were sitting... Uh, directly in front of the ring, directly looking at the entrance stage, and we were at the almost the top row of going out to the the, the atrium. And I still felt like I was almost like right on top of the ring, just because of how tight that building was and how small it was, and how you know intimate that setting felt. Um, and I think that's you know as a company, AEW needs to think about doing that because. You know, you're if you're gonna why like what's the rent on an NBA building? Like you know, like you said, oh, it's probably. I mean, who knows? I mean, it's probably twenty five thousand right? dollars. And I mean, those cons are made of money, but damn, how much? How long can you rent out an NBA arena across the country? Well, and- I, I think too that you know they have to rent these things ahead of time. It's not like they're week to week. Like they probably rent this out a year ahead of time, or six months ahead of time, or whatever they decided they were, or whenever they rented it. Um, so I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I think they need to rethink their model. Yeah. Think something because this is not, first off, this is embarrassing. These pictures yeah. get out, right? These, this is, this is embarrassing. Yeah. Everybody has a phone. Yeah. Have, everybody has a phone. So even if your hard camera is not facing it, everybody in the arena <laughs> that has a phone is done taking a picture and posted it on social media somewhere. I don't even know who Ricky Starks is looking at. 
<laughs> the, the the phantom in the back of the building. That's what he's looking at. Oh, crazy, crazy, the, crazy. The, the arena. All right, we have a jam packed Tuesday. The the Tuesday night wars are back. It yeah, used to be the Monday night wars. Now it's the Tuesday night wars. And um, uh, I mean, I after seeing that picture, I don't think it's going to be much of a war. Now Adam Copeland was on this show. Yeah, Adam Copeland, Edge. Yeah. The art known as Edge. Edge. <laughs> I guess he can't fill the seats like Punk. God. Nope. Well, but again, uh, I, I still say it, it's maybe they Saturday. Go to Canada. Maybe Saturday. They go to Canada. Saturday. You've got MLB playoffs starting. You've got um, college football and then fast lane. So, I mean, but, right but there. Here's the thing. But here's the thing about it. Okay, like, can somebody look up where they like? Where was Fastlane compared to where I was? Was in India? Uh, was in Indy? Yeah. Like where Collision was compared to that? Like, just because? Like, just yeah. Okay, so you got all this other stuff going on. There's still an element of it. Like WWE can draw a crowd. Like, no matter what they do, where they do it, they can draw a crowd. AEW, they drew a crowd in the very beginning. And, and I, you know, I've said before, this, like, this was an amazing crowdfunding effort. That 10,000 extra tickets that were bought or whatnot that for Wembley that nobody showed up for, that's fine. Because I what I think it is, and again, I've, I said this on a previous show, what I think it is is the fact that people bought it just to help fund the effort. But the problem is, is that you can only crowd fund something for so long before people just kind of like, well, I just don't have the money to fund this anymore. I can't, you know, and it's that's what I'm saying. Like this is if their business model doesn't change, one of their ev avenues of revenue, which is should be ticket sales. Yes, pay-per-view is great, but, you know, you're only running how many like, I mean, yes, they're trying to go to 12 a year. They were in Utah. Utah. Okay. So, Indian, you. Like, How would you book in Utah? Yeah. Uh, none, of the, none of the Mormons wanted none to come the, out. The, the, the 30, they take their magic the underwear 30, off to come to the show. The 30 yeah. people in attendance uh, there were probably uh, all gifted. Related. Yeah, gifted tickets, and they were probably all watching the cock on their phone for the first hour of fast lane uh, while nobody collision in Utah went. was watching the cock. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm no, dude. <laughs> all the, all the, all the uh, plural wives out there are watching. Yeah, time. yeah, sister wives. Uh, I saw uh, John and K plus eight was in the front row. <laughs> <laughs> I know, like you said, Jason, their business model needs to change. They need to do something different if they're going to survive because they're like, what, what happens? I mean, just you know, what happens if they get? A thousand people one night, just like in an NBA arena. One thousand people in an NBA arena. You're gonna no, see pictures like we just saw. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you think they had a thousand people there? Well, I mean, again, we can't see what's on the hard camera side, so they might have had a good crowd on the on the other side of it. But you know, you when you when your entire other half of the arena has nobody in it, you've got a problem. Yeah, like, Tony's gonna have to get a whole bunch of Jay White cardboard cutouts sitting in seats. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move on from this. Let's yeah, go to the yeah, Tuesday night All stuff. Right. All right, let's go. Uh, let's knock out. Hold on, let me get back to it here. Uh, da -da 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 -da. All right, uh, Tuesday night wars. They're back. Uh, this to uh, so because of the end or because of uh, MLB uh, playoffs and MLB and playoffs. the NBA starting. Yep. Well, that, um, yeah, well, I don't think that's going, that's not starting yet. That's not for a couple weeks yet, right? Is it? No, I thought NBA just started. And it did it. NHL starts tomorrow. Yes. I think. Or yes. Wednesday, one or the other. It's the 10th. Uh, so they move, AEW's moved their show to Tuesday, right up against NXT. And AEW is taking a pretty good shot here um, at, uh, trying to go up against NXT, which well, they're calling it Title Tuesday. Yeah, Title it's Tuesday. The show name. There's uh, there's a bunch of people that don't have titles that are on this Title Tuesday. Which, yeah. 
make zero sense to me anyway. So um, first you got it just it'll make a whole bunch of titles and give them to everybody. Uh, why not? Why not? Yeah. Uh, well, first, uh, first title defense is going to be the five million BC uh, title: <laughs> Adam Copeland versus Luchasaurus. <laughs> 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 Uh, with Christian Cage in tow, uh, uh, media, uh, what was Christian it? Media Cage, scrolls. Nick Wayne, Nick Wayne's mom, uh, definitely, and uh, and um, the best friend's mom, too. She's there, too. Sue. Yep. Sue, uh, we're gonna get Soraya, uh, with, for the uh, AEW Women's Championship versus uh, Hakara Shida. Um, that should be a pretty, uh, that should be a pretty good match. I like Shida, I really like, I Shida. love Shida. <laughs> Doesn't it? Doesn't Soraya have a title? She's yeah, the, she's, a, the she's women's, women's world champion. champion. Yeah, I just said it was for the women's title. Oh, 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 oh. She okay. won at the Wembley show. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. For some reason, I thought it was the other part. Uh, who was the other one you said? The uh, Hikaru Shida. Oh, that's right. For some reason, I thought Hikaru Shida was the champion. That's why Former, was... former champion. Former. Yeah. Yes. Uh, we get uh, AEW International Championship, or what I call a receipt. Uh, Ray <laughs> Phoenix versus John Moxley. Uh, <laughs> do, do we do we see, do we see Phoenix with a broken neck? Uh, he uh, could fuck him up. Yeah, that that could be as guaranteed as Moxley bleeding. Yeah, the, the only the only the only hope is that Bryce Remsburg is the referee for this match. Yeah, <laughs> or um, Aubrey. No, I'm sorry, Rick Knox. Yeah, no, Bryce no. Rick Knox. We we need uh, Skeletor to be uh. <laughs> No, no, you know, like honestly, the one ref we need, we need Brandon. We need Brandon to come in and ref this match. Oh, because, he went uh, there. He <laughs> went there. Because <laughs> Brandon knows how to keep order. <laughs> yeah, I said it. I said it. What? What you gonna do? What? All right. Well, now it's just Ricky and I. I've taken Scotty off the screen. <laughs> And have muted, <laughs> muted him. <laughs> son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. <laughs> anyway, uh, Ray Phoenix versus John Moxley. We got Powerhouse Hobbs versus Chris Jericho. Uh, no belt, uh, no belt uh, involved here. Uh, I believe um, Chris Jericho had a. It was a blue belt in karate, and maybe he'll be bringing that. I don't know. No, it's it, he's um uh he's got the belt for uh um most out of shape wrestler. Oh so, wow, okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean <laughs> Chris Jericho, if you're hearing this, yeah, yeah. Call, pot calling kettle Scotty. Um yeah. I, I've never claimed actually I claim to be in shape. I am a shape, I am round. Round, round, round is a shape. shape. Listen, round is a shape. Round is a shape. I don't know who's got better boobs, Scotty or, or Chris Jericho. Anyway, we got uh, <laughs> Jay White, Jay White, the Switchblade, Jay White uh, versus uh, Hangman Adam Page. Uh, this says versus Ari's tag team. Oh, okay. Yeah, six, yeah, man. six man tag. He was a six man tag. Yeah, so Hangman versus Jay White. And he's carrying around the Triple B right now. Uh, he stole the yeah. Triple B. So, yeah. We never did talk about it. I think we did. We talked about who's under the mask. Huh? Not really, I don't think. We didn't talk about who was under yeah. the mask. There was a yeah, beatdown on so. Jay White. I think we're going to get we're going to get a little bit of that uh on Tuesday night. Oh, uh, yeah. I just Warlow. I just what? I know uh, I don't know who it is. It's Warlow. I think um <laughs> that guy was way too small to be Wardlow. Was it though? Yeah. Yeah, okay, maybe not. I can only our brother can only help. Okay. Uh Swerve Strickland versus Brian Danielson. Um that's doesn't look I'm it's a number one contenders is, match is, for the is, TNT is, championship. Is, is Swerve accompanied to the ring by anybody? Uh yeah. probably probably the Probably Prince, uh, Prince Nana, Conan, perhaps. Or they... Prince Nana, perhaps. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like Pee Wee Herman's magical yeah. uh, word. word of the day. Word of the day. Oh, 
Uh, and then we get uh, the, uh, the Gates of Agony, the rest of Swerve's group uh, versus Claudio uh, versus Claudio and uh, Wheeler Yuta. Uh, no, wait a minute. I'm not, they, they, why would they put that on here? That's Friday. That was just stupid. Why would you put that on there? That's on Friday. Yeah, I was like, that definitely sounds like a Rampage match. Yeah, that, that, yeah. That, is, that, is, that, that match is meant for seven people. <laughs> sure. oh. All right, so that's, that is what... That is what AEW has. So, uh, my, uh, um, wait a minute. NXT. NXT. What did I do with it? Where did it go? Where did it go? I lost it. Well, we've got a special announcement from Cody Rhodes. Uh, we're going to get a, yes, we're going to get a special announcement. Ah, oh, I found it. Special it, announcement it, from Cody Rhodes. We're that getting Braun Breaker with Paul Heyman. With Paul Heyman. Versus. Is it Carmelo Hayes. Hayes with John Cena with in John his corner? Cena. Hopefully, John Cena shows up. Okay, why wouldn't he? Well, I mean, you might not be able to see him. Yeah. No. yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, the Miz, uh, did, Miz did beat up John Cena when he was. He did. Like, he did. Stuff. He beat the hell out of him and threw <laughs> him out of the ring. Yeah, we got uh, Oscar versus Roxanne Perez. Woo. Ooh, that's a good one, right? And, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. We have um, Pub Rules match: Butch, Rich Holland, and Tyler Bate versus uh, uh, Gallus, uh, Joe, uh, Joe Coffee, Mark Coffee, and Wolfgang. Uh, and you guys pick who do you think Ridge is going to hurt in this match? Yeah, <laughs> besides his chances to stay with WWE. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! And and on top of that. We might be getting the Undertaker. We may be getting the Dead Man. Yeah. We're probably the American Badass. Yeah, I was gonna say, is he is he old school <clears throat> Taker in the in the uh, trench coat and the hat, or is he American Badass coming they out? Don't have, they don't have a Harley long enough. The they don't have a long enough show to get that entrance, even with that small ramp. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, you guys remember what the Monday Night Wars were like with WCW and, and WWE, and I, I, I'll just do what I used to do. My, I wore my thumb out, bro. You yeah. had, you back. had that last previous, button. Previous, previous, yep. previous, previous, previous. I was constantly back and forth, and honestly, I, I mean, wrestling's okay now or good now, but it was never better. It will never be the same as that. It yeah, was never. never. No, uh, I, a lunge of blaze dropping the belt in the in the trash can. The uh, outsiders, the show. outsiders. Rick uh, Rude tri- showing up on the taping of Monday Night Raw, and then you flip over to TNT, and then Rick Rude's on Monday Nitro the same night. Yeah, uh, DX rolling with up with a clean front, cut beard, rolling yeah. a tank, rolling a tank down to uh, Atlanta and driving yeah. up to the headquarters and uh, trying to get in. Uh, and Mick Foley winning the world title after uh, Bischoff tells uh, Giovanni Schiavone yeah. about their ex their ex wrestler winning the big one. That'll put that'll put butts, butts in seats. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so um, we'll see. I mean, we'll see what they do here. I think AEW is going to find out really quick that. Uh, whatever they whatever they do, it's not going to matter because uh, uh, NXT they're going to be able to come back with so much star power for for um, um for for WWE that they're th- or for NXT they're just they're not going to be able to compete. I just don't think they. Can I think WWE them. just turned over the nuts right there with the Undertaker. Yeah, that's it. That's, yeah, that's that, right. That, that's uh, it. On the river, Undertaker yeah. on the river. Yeah, so, and, and, and then, the then question is like again, he's not. We know he's not going to wrestle, but. Who will he like? Even in his American badass persona, he can talk. Who is he going to give the rub to in in NXT? It doesn't matter. I mean, well, but it again, doesn't matter who he gives the rub to. <laughs> yeah. Who was I, the guy? Who was the guy that took the stairs to the head that Braun gave him the, and that he hasn't been on since. Uh. Dude, I have no idea who that even. You remember when uh, Braun? I remember the, the spot. I just don't yeah. remember the guy's name. So, so that guy, I think that's the guy. <laughs> I mean, hey, who knows? He's a dead man. <laughs> He's the tail. Well, 
Maybe they bring Elias back for this spot or Ezekiel. <laughs> the next person that interrupts me is going to be a dead man. <laughs> now, here's a. Will they use the. If they come out, if it comes down the motorcycle, will they bring back the old Kid Rock music? Now, Limp Biscuit, that's that's the way to go. Yeah, you got to keep rolling. Way to go. Von Wagner. Von Wagner. That's who's going to get the rub to. Von Wagner. <laughs> <laughs> there you go all right last but not least well at least in my book but uh are we going to get are we is 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 cm punk back in the wwe god i hope not oh i i hope so like <laughs> oh my gosh i the the rumor i've heard is they are in talks right is that is that what we're hearing so uh, as of as of last week, they were not talking. Uh, Punk put it out there that he is absolutely looking to go back to the WWE. And we knew that when all yeah. this shit went on before he was making his rounds, he was going to impact. He was going to um, he was he showed up oh. backstage at WWE and was asked to leave. Um, he is looking to come back. Yeah, because nobody else will have him. He's done burn the bridge at AEW twice. That thing's been blown the hell up. Um, <clears throat> I I don't know. I I, I yeah. see there's there's a list of people out there in WWE that wants nothing to do with him. Um, there's some that would like to work with him. I think I, I think it would be on the table. They bring him back, but at a short on a short leash, and. I'm pretty sure there are guys in the locker room in WWE that if Punk gets out of line with, will absolutely stop a fucking mud hole in him. <laughs> there's not going to there's not going to be any uh, uh, Jungle Boys over there. Well, you know WWE's run <clears throat> completely different than AEW. Yeah. Well, so, yeah. Uh, Punk had problems with guys in, in WWF before. Um, no matter where you go whatever work environment you're in, whatever workplace you're in, you're always going to have problems with somebody, right? It's not always perfect. Not everybody yeah. gets along. Uh, and as much as I don't, I don't really care for, for, for Phil Brooks. I think there is a, there is a place at, in the WWE for him and a patron, catering, right? Catering. Uh, well, no, it'll never be catering. The, the guy, no matter, no matter what you say about CM Punk or how I feel or how you feel, Ricky, he's a, he's a top here. guy. He's gonna, he's gonna get some money, a lot well, of money. He's been gone for a month from, 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 from AEW. Yeah, month, month or two. Yeah, still the top selling shirt. Yep. Yeah, still the top selling shirt. Huh? So there is a place. It's not. It's not really WWE's call anymore. It's Endeavor. It's it, that it, is it, true. It's, it's it, uh. What what is their new um TKO TKO? Uh, it's their call on who they bring in and who they let go. And that is true. Uh, it, it, it at the end of the day, it's about one thing. Yeah, it's about that money, 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 and and bringing CM Punk in. And by the way, where's where's Survivor Series? Chicago. 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 Yeah. Chicago. So, uh, where I'm, else would you bring it, this guy in at? And again, like. Actually, I wouldn't even bring him in Chicago. I'd bring him in somewhere else. I would not. I, I'd I, I'd kind of tease that he's coming dude, and just let the people old, keep showing up to these buildings. Do the old Shawn Michaels with Brett in Canada play his music in Chicago and then have nobody come out. Yep. They are, didn't they already do that when he left the first time that like Paul like uh they played his music and then Paul came <laughs> out and did yeah. that against him this uh, this thing this thing could go either way I I think he's back I think he's coming back yeah um, I, I don't I don't think anything's in writing yet or or but I believe that people in the wrestling business know everybody right you know people in the wrestling business if I want to get a message to somebody I could get a message to somebody without calling them Right. Yep. So the feelers are put out there. If, if the money's right, the flight's tonight. And I believe CM Punk is going to end up back in WWE. Which, honestly, and at this point, now that TKO is in charge and Vince is not the head man anymore, yes, Triple H is still running things. But I think it's a better shot. And look, 
if him and if uh, Trips and and Punk can bury the hatchet, Trips's booking has definitely been better than Vince's. Agreed. So way better. If the they, schedule's not the same either, right? The schedule's not the same. Like he's not Punk wrestled every night of the week. Yeah, he's no. Hurt. He was hurt. They, they take care they, of their guys better now. They don't do as many house shows as they used to. Correct. So that yeah, that definitely there. He's not on the road as many nights a week as he used to would you, as he was before coming if he comes back to WWE, and so that'll definitely be a plus side as well. But like I said, Trips' booking has been a lot better than Vince's, and I think if the, if him and Trips can bury the hatchet, then I think I could see tri- like I could see a good mind meld between those two and they could come up with something spectacular to get CM Punk back in the mix. And and like I've heard it online a lot. Like you know different people putting their commentary in, but make it like a three month deal where it's just like, all right, you know, we're gonna bring you back. Not even as a trial run, but just like you you got a three month contract. Here yeah and here's what we're gonna do with you in those three months. Okay. We already have everything, you know, an idea for you. You have creative control. You can change things, but you know this is the kind of what we want to see going in the next three months. Build it from Chicago. What does that put it? Um, uh, Survivor Series December. So November. Well, so we technically would late November. I think December. Crown Jewel is next. Yeah, Crown Jewel is next. Yeah. So December, January, February probably extended out a few couple months into uh, March, April. Get him into the WrestleMania mix with something, and then you know, kind of talk about where they want to go after that. Short term deals that give Punk the ability to kind of like, you know, that way he's not tied into a contract. So if something stupid does happen, and he might, if he decides to make an ass out of himself and screw something up, that you know, he's out of there. No big ifs, you know, no big, you know, flurry of anything. Uh, on you know, on a long term contract and trying to get him to come back and that kind of stuff, but you know, give it that kind of run, have some plans, fit him in starting a Survivor Series and push it forward to Romania, and then from Mania kind of look at it, renegotiate from there, and you know, keep building it up. You know, I, I, just something that I think would be a good way to kind of alleviate the. Powder it's never going to happen. They're never going to sign a three month deal for, with a guy, a top guy like that. In three months, he could go try to negotiate with another company and and get more money. It's and then he'll be in a bidding war. They're never going to do that. They're going to sign Punk to a five year deal, and then if he fucks up or he, the, you know, it is it is what it is. They have clauses in their contracts that can get rid of these guys, right? There. Well, technically, you know, they sign a three month deal no matter what because at least under the Vince regime. The contracts were negotiated uh, every 90 days. They could, uh, WWE could opt out of using their contract and, and get rid of them. So, yeah, well, but well, it's this never in favor anymore. Right. And it's never in favor of the talent. Yeah. Well, that yeah, I, it's never going to be in favor of the talent. But I, it's just something that's been out there on the, you know, a lot of different people putting in their opinions online about it. I've seen it across the board. And it's like, I mean, to, I think it makes more sense. To do it that way, yeah, you don't maybe you don't want to have a bidding, but again, who what company you say he'd be in a bidding war? What other companies are out there? AEW doesn't want him back, which is fine. All right, so you tell me in three months, so let's say, let's say in they sign him in three months and he starts hearing talk about the Bucks contract is up in a year. Now, the but I think the elite just signed an extension or whatever, yeah, but. Just say that he's like, well, if those fucking guys are coming here, I'm not going to be here. I'm out. Top guy out. Okay. I guess too much. I guess too much, too much to the talent to be able to make those decisions. And they're not going to do that. They're going to bring punk in. They're going to, they're going to get as much money out of this guy as possible. And that's just not how they do things. That's just not how contracts work. Not for these guys. So if he's a shit bag, they'll get rid of him. They'll find a way to get rid of him. They'll bury him. They'll they'll do whatever they did last time they had him, um, <laughs> and then they'll move on. But um, I, as much again, as much as I don't like Phil Brooks, I, I like CM Punk. I think CM Punk, uh, he's great promo. Um, 
only because he and, and I love this about any guy who shoots a promo that makes me feel like he believes himself and everything that comes out of his mouth, whether it's right or wrong, he believes it. So yep. and and it's a, it, he's a good promo and he's he's not a bad wrestler. He's getting older. He's like everybody else, right? They get yeah. older, their 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 move set changes and they have to work differently because of whatever. So except um, for Jericho, who's still trying to do lion salts. Uh, well, I mean, I don't blame him. The guy's a Greek. The guy's he's guy's an L sex god, right? <laughs> he ain't a Greek <laughs> god, that's for sure. Anyway, so we're for CM Punk coming back to WWE, only for one thing. We can talk about it, right? Yeah, I mean, Ricky. Yeah, you don't, you yeah, don't true. Want to true. Back in wrestling ever again, right? I... <laughs> Listen, when we're talking about him, yeah, he's money, right? Yeah, he's he money. he does give us plenty of content to talk about on Absolutely. a weekly basis because he can't stop running his damn mouth. We can only talk something. about top dollar so much, you know. Flop dollar, flop dollar. Flop. So, <laughs> all right. Well, that's good. Do it here for Hardway Wrestling. Do uh, you guys have anything else? That was absolutely it for me. Nope. Uh, uh, good. Uh, just getting back to uh, uh, Brian Hardy and his kid. Get well, kid. <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah, he did shoot. He did send a uh, thing here. Um, yeah, he did. He did get back to us on the chat. Yeah, he did say uh, about ten days until the stitches can be removed. Today they went to the regular doctor. Tomorrow they go to the ortho. So, uh, hopefully, there's no long term damage. Uh, for for he's a tough kid. He's just a tough kid. He's and, he's, a, he's a hardy. Yeah, he's nobody a, nobody walks around wearing chops like that and not yeah. be tough. Hell yeah, right. So. Um, but anyway, oh, that's, go ahead. Really, really quick shout out something just really funny. I wanted to say it in the last episode, but I didn't. Uh, ATCW, uh, shout out to Evan. Funny, quick, funny story ran into him the other day in Frederick. Oh. Uh, we were at the we were out playing magic and he showed up at the uh game store we play at. So, the Jesus. Uh, huh, Jesus. What? I thought it was funny. Like Evan, man, shout out to you, brother. Yeah, you know, good seeing you. I go lie. I go lie. I'm trying to. I'm trying to stay K favorite, but I. I like it. Evan. <laughs> <laughs> There's not too many guys in this business I let hit me, and Evan is one of them. So, uh, <laughs> did you, have you guys ever seen the super? I'm just taking Evan a knock. Me? Oh, no, man, that was beautiful. You have to find that video and send it to us. Yeah, and the yeah. the cell on it was phenomenal. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it looked I, like it hurt a cell, lot. Bro. I'm not on the cell. <laughs> yeah, it looked like it hurt. <laughs> uh, it did hurt. <laughs> it did hurt. Uh, Evan put it right. Uh, and I was going to lean further into Evan for it. And I'm glad I didn't because he put one right on my chin. So he stuck me good. Uh, uh, he's got was, was he wearing the dress shoes? What's that? The, was he wearing his normal dress shoes at the time? I blacked out. I don't know what he was wearing. <laughs> yeah, no, he was, he was wearing his regular dress shoes. Oh, that had to hurt. Jonathan Cross went outside the ring and fell off the apron and hit the floor. It looked like a toddler rolling down the steps. I went, uh, I went over the top and caught the, um, caught the apron with my knee. I tried to go completely to the floor and just caught it with my knee and hit the, it hurt. Yeah, <laughs> it looked painful. Good. Did not feel good. But anyway, can I super uh, yeah, kick Jeremy like Stone? What's that? Can I super kick Jeremy Stone? Uh, you'd never get your leg up high enough. Jeremy Stone. I probably couldn't. Yeah. No, Jeremy wouldn't. Stone would tear you to pieces. No, he wouldn't. No, he wouldn't. I'm telling you, you guys sleep on these guys. Uh, they would tear you to pieces. Uh, Jeremy is a grizzled vet. And I mean grizzled as in he's built of gristle. He he is definitely grizzled. That is for sure. But a vet, I don't know about that. One no. thing you can't do to Jeremy Stone is knock his teeth out. <laughs> Not many people from West Virginia that you can. That's true. That's not true. <laughs> Oh shit. All right. Uh anyway, real quick, Brian uh Brian Hardy, shout out. Uh Hope Evan yeah. or Hope Evan. Hope Owen does well. I bought his book the other day. It should be here on Wednesday. Uh so I'll be reading that. Um Yeah, I got I gotta buy that myself. So. Get out there and get on there. Buy that man's book. Uh I'll show you listen. He's got music out there, guys. Uh I don't know if you listen to any of his music, but go look it up. Uh Brian Hardy. Uh, he's got it's wrestling music. It's a song called Heels. It's a song. There's a there's a, there's a couple songs. There's a few songs on there. They're not bad. He's got a um, he's got a Green Day type uh, vibe uh, to him. So okay. it's actually it's not bad. All right. So yeah. if you have the time to listen to Brian Hardy wind. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, 
Let's go do it here for Hardway Wrestling. Please go like, subscribe, share. We're on YouTube. Uh, please go get We're up to almost 140 now uh, on the on the, on the tubes. Um, yep. Get out there. Hit us up on Facebook. Send us messages. We'd like to hear from you. Um, oh, what else? Uh, we're on Spotify, Apple Music, uh, what? Google Play. What? What? Um, we're on all your podcasting platforms. What? Check all that stuff out. We need your we need your views. Also, if you like us, if you don't like us, give us a review. Tell us what you think. Tell us like, oh my god, they don't shut the fuck up. I like to hear tell, that kind tell of. Tell your stuff. friends to check these idiots out. Yeah, yeah. It's like you know what? Tell your friends. Tell tell whoever. Like. That's what you want, I want you to do. I want to say these guys are horrible, right? Hardway Wrestling. They make shit up, right? They don't know what the hell they're doing. <laughs> hey Tom, I need you to listen to these guys. Go download and subscribe to these guys. Listen, tell me how bad they are. Just keep doing that. Tell everybody how bad we are and just keep it going. Right? <laughs> and make sure that they hit the like up or hit the like or the download button or whatever that is. Uh and uh, we, what's that? The subscribe, subscribe button on all whatever all it is. Hit the subscribe, put your dick in the oven. I don't care what you got to do. Just <laughs> make sure it happens. Uh, I'm not editing that out. Whatever. Yeah. Anyway, uh, anyway, thank you so much, Ricky Scott. Uh, we will be back on Friday this week. Nice. Oh, Normal boy. time on Friday. We'll go live. We'll be live on the tubes. We gotta get old uh, Brian on here. Maybe hopefully we'll get Tool Brian Man on Timmy. Here. What's that? Tool Man Timmy. Tool Man Timmy. We'll see what they got going on. Uh, Chucky. and we'll, we'll we'll try to fill it. Uh, I know Hunter Cole wants to get back on. He just hadn't yeah. had a chance, but hopefully Friday we can get the Cole man on here and get Jeremy and Stone on here. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know the dial. He has dial up. So uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't. I don't know that the iPhone three is. Uh, you know, we barely got Scotty connected. I, don't I know thought he had it. I was gonna say he had one of them old. Uh, what was the Nokia that a sawzall couldn't destroy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's uh he's sitting on a BlackBerry. I don't know that he's um he well he's, he he can't afford a BlackBerry. But anyway, uh yeah, maybe we'll get Jeremy sitting on, on here one dingle, day. Sitting on a Dingleberry. <laughs> He said no to Dingo <laughs> All right, that's gonna do it here for Hardway for Ricky and Scott. Uh, we'll oh, see you guys shit. next time. On the hard way. <laughs> hey.